Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. Today we have a severe weather threat across our region. Usually you see me out here with my telescopes in the outdoor heavenly backyard astronomy, but today it's all about the weather. And off to the west of me right now, there's a very strong system that's moving eastward into our area. Already tornado watches are in effect for a large portion of Georgia into South Carolina, and these tornado watches are going to be expanded eastward into the coastal counties. So let's go upstairs to the computers and let me show you what's going on. All right, I'm inside right now with the computer. I want to show you what's going on. First of all, a great place to get some great information for our local weather is my web page, Pat Prokop's Weather and Nature page at savannapat.name. Easy to remember. And what I'm showing right now is that the area that I'm uh, across the southeast is under an enhanced chance for severe weather. Well, what does that mean? Well, first of all, looking at the definition from the National Severe Storms uh, Center, uh, Prediction Center, they in, uh, describe enhanced as numerous severe storms possible, more persistent and uh, more widespread and few intense thunderstorms. Uh, a few tornadoes possible with the uh, several reports of wind damage likely across our area. And that's where we stand right now. Uh, severe weather chance, there is uh, wind damage is likely from these systems as they move across the area later on this afternoon. There's a moderate chance for tornadoes and a small chance for some hail. Uh, there should be some lightning strikes possible as well and heavy downpours uh, as this system passes through for the evening, which could cause a moderate chance for some localized flooding. But let's go on into the, uh, first of all, the radar summary. And there I can check you out with the radar. And there you can see uh, a tornado watch is in effect for central South Carolina to central Georgia until 8 o'clock this evening. Now there is a uh, line of showers and thunderstorms developing off to our west and moving out of uh, eastern Alabama into western and central now beginning to move into central portions of Georgia where they're also under tornado watches. As a matter of fact, a large portion of the southeast United States is under uh, tornado watches at this time. There you can see a uh, tornado watch is in effect from the mid-Atlantic coastal states across the uh, upper portions of North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, and across South Carolina and Georgia into eastern portions of Alabama. Of course, I'm more concerned about our area right here where our tornado watch is in effect until 8 o'clock for the central portions of the region. Now, I expect this tornado watch to be uh, expanded eastward in the afternoon. Let me show you why. That will include the uh, southeast Georgia, Savannah, Hilton Head area, and Brunswick and St. Simons Island. Now, uh, one of the things that's causing this intense uh, weather system is this big wave in the atmosphere. Uh, and this is a very strong 200 millibar winds. Winds at about 35,000 feet, let's go with that. And these are very strong, which uh, throughout the afternoon and evening hours will increase with velocity as the uh, whole system moves in toward the uh, southeast. What does that mean? That means that the air aloft flowing very strong produces more updrafts and it sucks the air upward and that produces a severe thunderstorm. So we got this. Uh, what's called the dynamics of the weather system moving in. Also, we have a few uh, breaks in the clouds, which is adding heat to the atmosphere. That low level heat is going to also add to the energy of the atmosphere itself. Now, let's go into the computer models. And here it shows uh, this afternoon, right about now, the line off to the west of us. But as you approach the um, uh, afternoon, late afternoon hours, the line starts to intensify as an upper level wind continues to get closer to our area and causes more updrafts and, and uh, that uh, vertical velocity associated with these thunderstorms. And by um, uh, this is at six o'clock this evening, 2300 Zulu hours, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, that's six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, shows an intense line of severe thunderstorms across central portions of Georgia into North central portions of South Carolina. By um, 8 o'clock, uh, the system will be moving in across the eastern portions of southeastern Georgia and into south portion and eastern portions of South Carolina. And then by, um, uh, let's see, uh, 9 o'clock, 2 o'clock uh, Greenwich Mean Time, that's 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, it shows an intense line of thunderstorms 
moving into the coastal counties of Georgia and into South Carolina and then moves eastward across the region overnight and then out to sea. Now what to expect again with this system is the potential for damaging winds to be associated with this system. That means winds could be in excess of 60 miles an hour. We could see some tree, line, uh, tree damage and power line damage associated with these winds as they come on through. So the possibility of power outages uh, sporadic power outages is uh, very high for the uh, evening hours as this severe line of thunderstorms passes on through. Once again, uh, go to my web page or my Facebook page, uh, Pat Prokop's Weather and Nature Facebook page. Just type in my name. You'll probably find it. And uh, the, uh, on my weather page, I also have the uh, live radars uh, for our area. Uh, you can see them right here. And it shows the uh, tornado watches in effect. And the low-level winds, that's another thing. Uh, that we have to consider as well outside the thunderstorm areas. We're going to have some strong low-level winds just associated with this system. And those winds will be gusting to 30 to 35 miles per hour at times, maybe some additional gust up to 40 miles per hour outside of thunderstorms. In thunderstorms, we could see those winds exceeding 60 miles per hour. Again, stay tuned to my website and Facebook page for a lot more information or pick your favorite television station to watch. Uh, or your favorite uh, outlet for severe weather conditions. Uh, the National Weather Service is also an excellent weather source for local information. So thanks for watching and take care.